Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering single row or multiple row selection in table control with wizard. In the last video, we created the table control with wizard. In the last video, it hanged on complete step and after that you will get this kind of screen. Now, if you see we have a extra column here. We have a extra column here. You can see clearly here. And what is the name of the column? It is SEL, which will be help us to select the rows. You can select by, you can choose or you can see the property by double clicking also. If I will double click, you can see it is clearly saying. If I will show you, Work area, LWA final work area. What is the column name? SEL. You can clearly, clearly see. And you can see previously when we created that table control with wizard, we have only the scroll options. Now you can see we have select all and deselect all, all also functionality because we choose that radio button. Because row selection means what? You are selecting the, if you want to select all the rows, you can go for select all. If you want to deselect, you can go for deselect all. So now I will simply, simply close this screen painter. I will save and I will close this screen painter. And you can see SAP generated so many predefined code. And why, why this code? Because we choose table control with wizard. So this is our PBO logic. This is PAI logic. And you can see SAP has given rest of the column. But SEL is not here because SEL is used to select the multiple or single rows. Yes. Now, if I will go to the top of the program also, you can see SAP generated so many predefined code. It is already covered because in the previous videos, we generated table control with wizard two to three times. Now, I will go to display mode and I will activate. I will go for activate. Now you all know every module pool program requires a transaction code. So I will create a transaction code. I will go for right clicking, create transaction. You can go through SC93 also because ultimately this is SC93. Suppose I am saying Z transaction code. For suppose row, I will write. I will write transaction code. I will go for first radio button because second radio button is for executable programs. So I will go for program and time pro. You all know module pool programming is also called as dialog program. I will go for OK. I will give the name of the program. Now I will go for screen number. Anyways, we have one screen number. I will choose these three checkboxes and I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. And you can see we have one more for the transaction. I will simply run and we will check the output up to this level. I will run in a new window so that the previous will remain as it is. Now you can see we are getting table control and we have extra here, extra, which will help us to select the rows. And we have deselect all options, select all option because we have done this. So most important parts are there and because of this, we are able to do this particular thing. Now, what is our next target? Firstly, we will display that data in table control with wizard. I will give a order number. Whenever I will click on to submit button, it should display that data in table control with wizard. 
So what we will do, I will simply, simply write the logic in the PAI because you all know on the submit button, which event will call PAI of screen 100. So we will write the logic to fetch the data from order header table. Then we will write the logic to fetch the data from order item table. Then we will merge also because ultimately LT final is binded to the table control. So I will go to PAI of screen 100. I will uncomment this module and we will create this. I will go for yes. I will go for new include. Yes, I want to save. Now here I will write the logic. On the submit button, what is the function code we give? Submit, submit. So I will write if psiucom is equal to submit, I will write the logic to fetch the data from first table. So I will write select order number, order date, payment mode, total amount currency from order header table. I will store into internal table. Now I will go for where condition, where O N O, I will write L V underscore O N O and you all know because in the layout, I gave the name of the input field as L V underscore O N O. If I will go to layout, you can see the name of the field, which input field I gave is LV underscore O and O only. That's why in the query, I'm using same to same word LV underscore O and O. Screen painter is taking time because ultimately it consumes lots of memory. So whenever I'm going for layout, it is taking time. I'll just wait. I'll just open again. Screen painter is slowly opening, yes. If I will go to screen painter, layout. Yes, now it is opening. I gave the name as LV underscore O and O. This is what I want to show you. If I will double click, it is LV underscore O and O. Now we will go for PAI. Okay, that's why I put LV underscore O and O. Whenever I will check the syntax, you all know I will get a syntax error. So I will declare this LV underscore O and O. So I will write data lv underscore o n o type data element of order number. I will check the syntax and activate up to this level. I will cover, I will activate all the parts of the program. Or you can simply go to display mode, right click and activate all together. Now I will write the second query to fetch the data from order item table. You all know 
whenever we want to fetch that data from dependent tables or foreign key table, we are always writing if first internal table is not initial. Now I will fetch that data from order item table. Select order number. Then our next column is order item number, item cost. From order item table. We will store into internal table. We all know we need to write for all entries in first internal table where order number is equal to first internal table order number. So first internal table order number will act as a input to fetch that data from order item table. Now I will activate up to this level. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are firstly, I showed you whatever the table control with wizard generated. I showed you that column also, extra column, yes. I double click and show you the property also. I showed you select and deselect. Then we created a transaction board and I show you the application. Now we have extra column is coming which is used to select and deselect the rows. Now we all know whenever we will click on to submit button, PAI event will call. So in PAI of screen 100, I have written the logic to fetch data from header table from item table. In the next video, we will merge these two internal table into LT final because ultimately LT final is banded with the table control. Then we will proceed further. We will select the rows and we will save those rows into another database table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.